Hey everybody. So currently I've been doing a lot of research at both work and home because I have been researching Viking Age leather work, some things in the archaeological finds of York. Um, some friends of mine in my reenactment group gave me this PDF with some relevant information on uh, Viking Age leather work, so I've been reading through this and um, just compiling notes. Now, I was watching some of um, Luke's videos on LaTeX, and I wanted to look at LaTeX for like serious academic paper writing and just the general like customizability of LaTeX. But LaTeX is a huge package. It's like two gigabytes. Uh, a full installation is huge. Um, it's got a steep learning curve and to be honest, most of the benefits that I can g get from LaTeX can in fact be replicated with our markdown, which can also run LaTeX. So I saw Luke's video about this, about how he, he left, he is leaving LaTeX and he's going to do all of his serious stuff with our markdown. And I use R Markdown for everything. At work, it's like my go-to. I make wiki documents with the HTML export. I make uh, reports with the HTML export. I've done LaTeX PDF exports for some of the um, statistics classes I've taken. Um, I even got a custom Word format for when I actually export to Word when I can't get a LaTeX distribution set up on my work machine. But I digress. War R Markdown is like the best thing ever and I love it and I use it for everything all the time. So one thing that really just finally put the nail in the coffin for me was that the, the references, the bib file for LaTeX for using Bibber um, for your bibliography and table of contents. But honestly, I can just do table of contents a different way. It, it, anyways, so I figured out that bibliographies work in our markdown exactly the same as they do in LaTeX, and it doesn't even need to have you exporting to PDF or using LaTeX or even having a LaTeX distribution to work, which means I can actually do work citations with a Bibber file at work with no issues. And I tested this the other day, and it worked. So I'm actually keeping my bibliography file on uh, my GitHub now. Um, It'll be like right here, bib. I don't really have anything in there yet. Not much. I think the only thing I'm in that's in there right now is the current um, leather working article I'm reading. But um, oh, I need to change it from book because it's not a book. It's actually yeah, it is a book. It's an ebook. Anyways, so here's where I'm going to keep all my references from now on, and then um, this way I could just pull them down at work, or I could pull them down at home, and I can update my bib file, and I would have all of my references on hand. Um, documents. Yeah, bib. So I just got it in a git repo. So whenever I have any changes, I can just commit and push them back up to the remote repo and keep my, my bibliography fresh and clean all the time. Um, yeah. So I was going to do all my notes in LaTeX and for up to a point, what I have right here, um, I did do in LaTeX. Um, but now, like I'm just rewriting all of it in R Markdown because it looks just as good. It works just the same. I can compile it with the auto compiler script that I have. Um, let's see, uh, C for compiling. All right, it's compiled. Um, I got an issue with the. Um, preview of a compiled file. It, it works just fine with Markdown, but with R Markdown, for some reason, it's kind of a little weird. Um, there's the PDF. And so it'll put the references at the bottom because in my YAML portion of the R Markdown file, um, I have the bibliography right there. It just says bibliography, and then there's the value, which is just the file path. Um, yeah. I got a couple of law tech commands in here, table of contents, page break. But other than that, it's all like just R markdown and some R code for images. 
and I'll talk about more about our markdown in the days to come, but I mean, why have the learning curve of LaTeX when you can get all the same functionality and everything you need and you got packages like book down, blog down, page down, R markdown, like all these packages that make documentation, um, thesis writing, books, articles, websites, blogs, everything easier to write, all your documentation easier to write with R markdown. And R markdown can just deal with just about any like kind of code. Like it can deal with the with the web stack. You can have HTML code inserted as you want. Um, you can center things, bre breaks, and whatever. In in that, you could have custom CSS styling. You could have JavaScript uh, operating on stuff. You you have Markdown itself. You got code chunks that can run anything like Python, SQL, Stan, Julia, R, uh, whatever. Um, and then you got the YAML header, which has its own functionality for the documents and just a lot of great stuff. So our markdown is awesome. Our markdown for life. And sorry, LaTeX, I just don't really have a use case for your complexity right now. And with Bookdown and the R markdown package and Bibber, I might not ever have one. So I highly recommend R markdown and I'm going to be making more videos about it um, very soon. So stay tuned for that. Thanks.